What's up YouTube? It's early in the morning today and I woke up. I had to answer one of the questions that my viewers have always asked me. So they are like, how do I manage my uh, love net with, uh, with the way how I get my people every day? So today I am in the farm early in the morning. I want to show you how I do it, right? I want you guys to know how I do it. Uh, so here we're entering the prepaper unit that I always show you. So this is it. Early in the morning, I come in here. Uh, so this is the harvest for the night. Let me show you. This is the harvest for the night, right? I come and I collect this prepupa. It is little. I come to this other side. Oh, here it's a lot. Here it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So... I also gather this. So shall go and measure. Uh, I gather this. So this is a lot. Literally, it is a lot because uh, it was basically raining the whole night. So usually, cold temperatures uh, make it make them easily make the prepare to come out the more in the night. So, ah, this is a lot today. I think it's over five kilograms. Oh, 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 oh. so this is what I do every morning. Let's come to collect the pre-pupa uh, from this unit and just take it to the love net. Oh. So they are basically dry, as you can see. So, as you can see, my hand is still clean um, without. Any rubs, any dirty spots. Uh, so let's see how oh, it's really a lot today from this other part. So, anyway, anyway, anyways, let's see. So, I'm done. I kind of got too much. So. I'm first going to weigh this. So this is the first step every morning, right? Every morning I come after collecting the prepupa, and then what's the next step? Let's see what I do next. Oh my! So these are the prepupa. Oh, so what I do next is uh go to the where I keep the the flies in the night, right? And so I go weigh them, then let's see what happens in my nets with the prepupa harvested. Let's see, and here we come to uh, where I'm creating my rearing unit. Uh, as you can see, um, that's where I keep the worms. And some facilities are built, so I'm yet developing it. So uh, let's see what I do. So what happens next is uh, I weigh the prepupa I collect every day. So let's see what results it gives us. Uh, I'll turn it on. So I see there's too much light. Let's try to get it. It's on zero, right? It's on zero. So let's put. Uh, I've added it. So let's see what we have for the night. It's reading 4.932, right? And this container basically weighs uh, 380. So 380. Uh, grams 380 grams and then that means today we collected about what is 4.932 minus 0 0.380 approximately let's say um let's say um 4.5 right i know it's more than that but let's put it at 4. so i collected 4.5 three people in the night kgs and that's enough for one love net right so for any person who is beginning that's enough for a small love net and then this is the second thing I do every morning. So what I do next is um um next I have uh see the cells that the said after I imagine as flies, right? So that's the next things I deal with. Now since this is too much, what I basically do is uh, uh I now put the cells, I divide it into I divide this into two containers. Uh so Meaning these are the cells, I use them for, to make them pupate, right? So I put them so that the flies can pupate in them. 
So instead of using a, sometimes I use wood savings instead of that in case I don't have enough. I use wood savings. Uh, so wood savings basically make in the pupation faster, likewise to this. So the pupa stays under it when it is still uh, moving. Then when it wants to pupate, you find it comes on top. So there's no disturbance on top and it pupates. And it is usually faster when you have uh, either, either the wood saving or the the anything anything that allows them to pupate faster. Some people use wood saving, some people use coffee husks. So that's right. So now this is what I do. I either put 2.5 kgs in, in a net. So so this is what I do next. I put it there so that they can pupate inside it. And uh, so this is it. Simple as it seems. So it has just made my work very easy. Uh, I, I see. So what is left? Uh, still 3.38 from 4.5. So let's reduce it to 2.5. Eight. Uh, okay, something like two point eight. Okay, something like two point eight. Okay, about eight six six. That's fine, right? That's fine. So we also add some. Uh, the shells. Uh, the shells. What are left? So that they can pupate faster. And. So we add them on top of that. So, so now, yep. Oh, so that's all. Now, what happens next is that I now take them to my duck cage. Now, let's go to where I get my. time to go where I keep my nets. First, let me show you. This net, uh, somebody asked me what kind of light I use, artificial light. I don't use artificial light, right? I use the natural light, as you can see. So some of these sheets, I change them to be transparent uh, so that they bring light into this small room. Now, this is the first net. Uh, I forgot to change the prepupa in it, so the fly is basically reduced at some time, and I had to put uh, new prepupa so they are yet imagined. As you can see, that's the that's the dark cage. So, so this is the second net. It's basically doing well. I just harvested the eggs yesterday in the evening, so I'm here to put the eggs today, and that's the source of water they use. Um, so for this net, I have this dark cage. I made a dark cage. So this dark cage serves for this net. As you can see, I made a hole here. So when the flies uh, imagine the dark cage, so they basically come out from this hole into this other um into this other net. And then uh, this dark cage serves for, for these two nets. And then for this other one, uh, I basically make the dark cage in two apartments. So there's one up and there's one down. So the downer one serves for this net. As you can see at the corner, flies that emerge come out from there, from the dark cage, directly into the net. So I just, I just attached them. So this is another net. Uh, so I, as I told you, I visited the eggs yesterday. So I need to put the eggs so you can see there's no eggy. That's the thing for the truck turn and that's the water they use. And so this is their dark cage also. It's it has two nets. And so as you can see this thing I made. I stitched here. So this is the gap in that allows the flies to come out into the net after they have emerged this fly. So and then so this dark cage, this other dark cage. Uh this one serves uh, this two with the other one. So for this one, it starts from down. As you can see that space in there. Um but now as you can see, the, there's light, right? The windows give a lot of light, natural light, and um, that side is a lot of light. I talk about here, there's other, there's another transparent sheet, and there's one at the corner, so and there's just light from the window. So basically there's light, but though it's not enough. So here there's still uh, yet imagine also, I just made it, put the new preview power of recent, so. So now, right now, so for this one I used, the, I made a dark cage to be inside, right? Because it was a big net and, so I just made it inside because there's not enough space and I wanted there's also some space to move in. So now that's what I do. So after um harvesting my people every day, what I basically do is uh I I now get the pupa and uh put it in the dark cage. So that's what we do here. So this is the pupa and 
I take it. Uh, so, so let's put it uh, in one of the dark cages here. Yeah. Oh, so let's see what we do. So this is the dark cage, right? I'm trying to open it. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the dark cage, right? So he's inside the dark cage. As you can see, there's some people here. And so there are some here. So many are pupated. And so this is basically what I do. I pick the pupa every day and then put it in one of the dark cages, right? So then it pupates and that turns into the flies. That's all I do. So guys, I saw your questions uh, about the light I use. So I've told you that I use uh, natural light from the sun. So this guy, the heating here is not very bad. I teach you that um, it's from 11. Actually from 8 to 2 p.m. That's when there's direct sunlight coming from here. But now from 2, I don't receive direct sunlight because uh, this wall kind of extends too high. So the sun goes that side of the wall. And then the temperatures here are basically moderate most times they're moderate in the evening actually in the afternoon so and then in the afternoon i expect them to lay eggs right because they do most of the mating at around 10 to midday that's when you see they're very actively mating so after that time most of them tend to be laying eggs now and doing the real thing that why they're brought into the night so i'm actually very glad now i i'm thinking of because the amount of people i have every day is really enough to supply as many nets as possible I'm thinking of constructing another unit for another net. So right now the eggs I get are not much. I I still get eggs from like four nets because this other the other two with few flies are not doing well. So let's go to like six to ten grams uh, for now. But um, I know how I can improve it. Uh, a better attractant. Um, and uh, I need to improve on more light that side because the better the light, the better the mating. Also, that's what I came to realize. And guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. So that you get notifi notified every time I upload a video. So in case you have another view of how I can do better in this, it's highly welcomed and it's a process, you know, it's a process of learning. I know uh, we are all uh, deemed to learning in, in one way or the other. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Support the channel, right? Bye-bye. Peace.